Now, I know a lot of you guys uh, don't know how to do uh, letters, right? So you're just going to take a piece of, uh, well, paper towel. You're going to make it into a pouncing pad. You see how I've wrapped that just with a piece of tape? Now, you want to take uh, metallic paint. doesn't really matter. Sign makers are going to make you think that it's got to be really, really good. But you just put a little bit of gold paint on there and you just make a pouncing pad and watch watch what happens here you're just going to bounce those letters now see I got a little bit over there okay but if you just bounce that correctly you're going to get see I can wipe that off watch look at that look at that I'll wipe that off so look you just Put that on there, get her nice and wet. It's a pouncer. There you go. That's how you do letters on castings. Holy Jesus, you'd think I was uh, brilliant. Well, you know what the open beer means. It means it was successful. Uh, so I thought, what I thought I'd do here is go over uh, everything that uh, uh, that had to be done on this motor. Uh, first of all, I uh, didn't even know if it would uh, run, and uh, so uh, uh, that's why I initially had to put it together to see. Now there wasn't. Any any brushes so I made those brushes and of course there were also parts missing these parts here the brush holders and the little Gibbs screws uh, this whole apparatus brass part and pointer were missing and uh, the motor is capable of changing rotation by unlocking this and turning the necklace uh, uh, within the uh, uh, magnetic field to go either clockwise or counterclockwise. It's set up to go counterclockwise right now. Uh, didn't have motor bolts. Uh, there was two bolts on either end. Uh, it also didn't have a termination. So wires were just literally hanging out here. So new leads, you can see the yellow leads have been brought into this uh, um, this is actually an English uh, fused, uh, not a fused disc, well it's a fused disconnect and uh, right now it's running clockwise as you can see. Um, this is the powertrain in. Now the motor shaft was cut off right there. This shaft has been added. I'm going to support this shaft with a, uh, a pillow block. Uh, because uh, of the ex extra length that I've added but uh, um, what else is, was wrong with it well I mean it was completely filthy uh, the um, motor tags uh, this is uh, you know uh, the original patina 
uh, salvage did a post on that and uh, the motor is running right now and just is just so I'm gonna go in for the evening and I just thought I'd show you the lubrication system so uh, huge sump you can see that this big here uh, there's more oil in this than my my lawn tractor if you look you can see that ring that split ring runs up there and it, it drips out of the pump and it uh, pulls up and lubricates that bearing I mean you're, unless you threw gravel in there it's not going to wear out now I'll run if you look very carefully you're going to see little specks see little specks in there well, I'll see if I can focus on that see the little specks I'll run it for a little while and then I'll I'll drain it got a drain plug to put fresh oil in it but uh, I mean this bitch is cooler than shit boys that's all I gotta say I, I thought three phase was cool but uh, single phase is one complicated little bugger okay and uh, anyway we'll show you uh, you know that's it Okay. Isn't that a, just a marvelous, marvelous lubricating system? A dead simple, right? When they when they made things to last. Pretty cool. Peace out. Uh, thanks for everybody that followed. Really uh, enjoyed the engagement and. Uh, man is it, it just is such a beautiful beautiful uh, piece of equipment that uh, it inspires me to do better work because we'll save it